guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have an unboxing for the YA version of Unplugged Book Box. If you're unfamiliar with Unplugged Book Box, they are a book subscription service where every month you get a new release book, sometimes a book that hasn't even been released yet, which is awesome. And then you get some bookish goodies to go along with all that. It could be candles, it could be some clothing items, we've gotten some food related things. They all have themes surrounding different book fandoms or just some bookish goodies for those of us that are obsessed. The box is $34.99 a month with $8.99 shipping. They will ship worldwide, but just make sure you check out the website down below to make sure that they ship to your countries because there are some countries they won't ship to. Now they do make an adult version of this box so if this if the genre of YA is something you don't like they do do an adult version as well but I have the YA version. So if you want to see what is in the January box for the YA Unplugged Book Box then just keep watching. So I'm really excited. This is the January box, like I said. Oh my goodness. I want to also note that this month's box feels quite heavy to me. Yes, I know there is a book in here, so that would make up some of the heaviness, but it's like extra heavy today. So the January theme is Golden Opportunities. And of course, we have a little pamphlet, which I will go like this because we don't want to look um so yeah golden opportunities is the theme so i will put that i'll just put that here for now all right right out the gate we have what appears to be very i might need some scissors this thing is I'm going to assume this is a blanket. Oh, there's a tear off. Oh, that was nice of them. This is probably a blanket. Nice and sealed. It is super soft. Blue, nice and wintry color. I'm going to look and then I'll show you guys. Oh! It's leaving fuzzies all over my black leggings. It's fine. It's fine. All right. It says, and I'll show you guys in a second, books are a uniquely portable, are you neat, wait, books are a uniquely portable magic. Oh, from Stephen King. Really cool. So a quote from Stephen King. Hopefully you guys can see it in the frame. It's super soft. Like I said, it's really pretty blue. I'm gonna get more fuzz all over my leggings, but oh well. Um, it's very pretty, wintry blue. It's a huge blanket. I mean, if I stand up, it will cover me. So nice, nice blanket to cuddle up and warm up to in the winter months, because right now in upstate New York, it is snowing like crazy. I was actually, I was just saying to Don, like a couple days ago, I said, I feel like this is the first, like, winter, like real winter we've had in a long time. So, and I like winter, so I, I embrace it with open arms. All right, next in here. Whoa, what are you? There's two things in here. I have no idea what this is. Okay, it's a map. I don't know what it's a map of. Um, are they different or are they same? We got two, th I'm thinking this is place mats, like place settings. Yeah, these are two different maps. So they're doing kind of a series where they have maps 
for things. The last one we got was a cutting board, actually, which I have right here. We got this a couple boxes ago. So they're doing a map series, which is kind of cool. Um, but I'm not sure what this is from. So we'll have to wait until we get the card. But that's cool. Love that. I'm going to have things scattered everywhere. <laughs> I can already sense it. All right, next in here, Aurora Doyat, I will worship thee. I don't know what that means. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, it's a little fork and spoon. That's kind of cool. Don't know what I would use these tiny forks and spoons for. Oh, there's like, oh, okay, okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> there's multiples of these things. What are these used for? All right, so you got two spoons and two forks, which I'm really confused by. So, two spoons and two forks. Not sure what the fandom is. These, I feel like, if you have, like, I mean, a, a party, and you had, like, little cocktail meatballs or little things you could put, I don't, I don't know. These could be little, like, dressing spoons. All right. I don't know where any, okay, the only thing I know is the blanket, because it's Stephen King. But I don't. I don't know what any of this stuff is currently, right now, until we read the pamphlet. And then I'll probably be like, oh, okay. But I don't know, these little silverware things are kind of random. So, <laughs> I don't know. All right, moving on. Next in here, we have Cave's Water. Peppermint salve, so maybe for headaches. It doesn't smell very pepperminty. Peppermint salve. I don't know, for your lips or, I would have thought peppermint, you know, when you get a headache, you put some peppermint on your, your temples, it helps with migraines. I don't know. Curiouser and curiouser. Next we have, oh, a Bridgerton lip scrub. Afternoon tea and cake is supposed to be the smell. The smell is very, um, it's very subtle, very, very subtle. But we got a small little thing like that. All right, I think that's it for the products in here until we get to the book. Of course, I'm trying not to, I don't want to look at the spoiler cards. I probably don't want to look at that. <clears throat> don't want to look at that. All right. Let's open the book. The stuff that I put aside is like the author's note and the book plate. You do get a book plate with every book, which is pretty cool. Oh. <clears throat> okay. My Fine Fellow, A Delicious Entanglement by... Jenneke, I'm probably not saying it right, Jenneke Cohen. Okay, let's look at the book, the naked book. It's like a blue-green, but more green than blue color. Okay. <clears throat> she, I guess, wrote A Dangerous Alliance. So this is not a debut book. This is like her next book. Let's read what it says. In 1830s England, culinarians, 
doyans who create gorgeous foods and confections for the elite are the creme de la creme of high society. Helena Higgins, top of her class at the Royal Academy, has a sharp demeanor and an even sharper palate and knows stardom awaits her if she can produce greatness in her final year. Penelope Pickering is going to prove the value of non-European cuisine to all of England. Her counter contemporaries may scorn her Filipina heritage and her dishes, but with her flawless social graces and culinary talents, Penelope is set to prove them wrong. Elijah Little has nothing to his name but a truly excellent instinct for flavors. London merchants won't allow a Jewish boy to own a shop, so he hawks his pastries for a shilling a piece to passer buyers. But he knows with training he can break into the highest election of society. When Penelope and Helena meet Elijah, a golden opportunity arises to pull off a project never seen before and turn Elijah from a street vendor to a gentleman chef. But Elijah's transformation will have a greater impact on this trio than they originally realized, and mayhem, unseemingly faux pas, and a little romance will all be part of the delicious recipe. Cool. So this seems like um, it's going to have a lot of foodie things in here, which I've been saying <laughs> I need to do another food and books video because I only have three, but this sounds like it's going to have a lot of foodie things in it, which is kind of cool. So... And the cover is beautiful. So yeah, that is that is everything in the box. Let's pick up the um, the pamphlet and find out where all this stuff is from. All right, so it's a little little tough to read, but we're going to uh, I'm going to try my best. All right, so the Falconer's dessert spoons and fork set. So they're I guess supposed to be for like little petit foies or I don't know fancy little things <laughs> Alina from the Falconer series by Elizabeth May has many opportunities to fight for a noble cause as the last in the line of female warriors with a seemingly charmed life Alina must prove her abilities by saving the world this inclusive dessert exclusive dessert spoon and fork set is from team unplugged now, the only thing I question is, is there a scene where there's desserts? Because what? <laughs> I don't know. That didn't make sense of why that would be there. Anyways. Um, Bridgerton Lip Scrub. So, yeah, we knew that because it said Bridgerton right away. Iron Fay Bookmark. There was a bookmark. I just assume it was to go along with the book. Um, it says, mark your book this month. With this exclusive Iron Fay inspired bookmark. This bookmark was designed by the Unplugged team. Really cool. Um, the Bookish Blanket. Remind yourself of all the power that reading can give you and take an all good take on all good opportunities you come across. Um, the Raven Cycle Peppermint Solve. Maggie Seavotter's Raven Cycle, so I wouldn't, I've never read the Raven Cycle, so I wouldn't have guessed that. <clears throat> series tells the tale of a group of misfit friends that poses different abilities. Each of them has the opportunity to bloom into what they are meant to be, but not all of them follow traditional rule to get there. This exclusive solve is by Pure Earth Soapworks. So... All right, here's the thing. I, there's no instructions on the self on how to use it. Like what, I don't know. I guess I'm not familiar with a, what a solve is. So I wish there was instructions on how you use this. Cause I don't know if anybody got this box and knows how to use this, let me know. Um, All right, and then these beautiful placemats, which I was right, these are placemats, are from Spin the Dawn and Six Crimson Cranes, which I've not read either one of them. I think I have Six Cr Crimson Cranes, but it's all over BookTube right now, so I really want to read that. Um, 
Enjoy the next bookish collection map piece in our series of bookish maps. These maps are from Spin the Dawn and Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. Both feature characters presented with opportunities to change for the change or better the world. The set of placemats was designed by Team Unplugged. So, and then of course we got My Fine Fellow. Um, there are some journal prompts in here that you can use. Next month, is this it? What, what, what? Wait, young adult, January 2022. Okay, there's a typing. I'm not crazy. This is the January box. It does say January YA sneak peek, so it's supposed to be February YA sneak peek. And it's <laughs> morally gray is the theme. And it says each February young adult box will feature an exclusive item from the Simply Bookish Company. Cool. So, yeah, that is everything in the box. I didn't think it was, I don't know. It was kind of a weaker box, in my opinion. Like I said, I wish there was some instructions on the solve. I think the little dessert spoons and forks, am I going to really use it? I don't know. Um, and then the other thing I was thinking, too, right before I filmed, a lot of book boxes are doing, like, special covers and the sprayed edges. I wish Unplug would look into it. I know we had a couple months where books had special dust jackets um so I wish they'd keep doing that just to make something the book unique for people that have been getting unplugged so I'd like to see some sprayed edges or special dust jackets again what did you guys think do you feel the same way that I do about the boxes let me know down in the comments below if you haven't already please subscribe become a member of this beautiful family and I will see y'all real soon in my next video